on Montserrat right here. How is it, Sophie? Amazing. Amazing. We are walking quite a long distance to uh, to reach a, a botanical garden. It's quite far. So we're going up the hill and it's like, uh, yeah, uh, 35 Celsius, something like that. So, whew, quite warm. Since Sophie studies herbology, she was thrilled by this visit. We just finished our tour of the botanical gardens at De e in Guadalupe and at first we thought it was a bit expensive it was worth about 20 Canadian dollars so 15 euros but it's actually really worth it it's really big and there's so much variety and there's a lot of birds and yeah it's really beautiful and it's a good like uh, one hour and a half to two hours of walking so which, yeah. which is worth it it was really worth it and we saw plenty of beautiful amazing colorful flowers and now we also know their names so that's the good thing it's really uh, how do you say it's educative educational yeah anyway you learn a lot so it's really interesting if you're interested in plants that's a really good spot to go yeah exactly and now we're gonna go and fill all the tank of water and and be ready to head to bouillant head to bouillant where we're gonna die Anchor at uh, what the name? Bouillant. So we're lucky because we're the only sailboat around. Like that? Ah, there is no one else except us. And super cool because apparently this place is super busy, but I don't know why there is no one. But we uh, anchor in a place like a bit tricky because there is a lot of. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but everywhere here and uh, over there and there is some in front of us, there is some um, fishing net. So we had to be uh, careful to anchor, but we did it. So now we're gonna check the anchor and uh, try to do some spare fishing. So that's the rip in the Genoa. It's pretty big. So we brought it down today because there's absolutely no wind. And we're gonna sew it. And we're gonna teach Julianne how to sew. What we need for 
for what we need to fix the rip in the sail is nylon thread, scissors obviously, and also some needles that are pretty pointy, that are kind of triangular so you can really penetrate the sail. And I don't know the name for this, but that's just to help push the needle through the fabric. <laughs> and what we're going to do is first do a herringbone stitch all on the rib and then we're going to put some dragon tape dragon tape dragon tape I don't know dragon tape Poke underneath, pull the thread. So as you can and then walk. insert your needle underneath the thread. Underneath the thread. So there's kind of a loop. Woohoo! And you alternate from right to left in some kind of a zigzag manner. What Julianne is doing now is applying the dragon tape on both sides. So now she's putting just the one side. We're gonna flatten it and then put another layer on the other side of the sail. What are you doing, Sophie? So that's raw cotton that we just picked. Then I made thread. Never mind the red underneath, it's just wool. I used for a starter. Thank you for following your adventures. Don't forget to subscribe, put a thumbs up and share the videos. Take care.